quiet. A lot of friends, it was hard. A lot of friends didn't come, a lot of emotions. Tough day at school for suburban students at Bremen High School. A senior basketball player died last night after having a seizure on the court. Elizabeth Matthews is live for us in South Suburban Midlothian. Elizabeth. Corey and Don, a very emotional day, as you can expect. Some students tell me that other classmates just took the day off. Some took advantage of some extra counseling services today. Cameron Wheatley's father says his son was gentle, fun-loving, and just loved to play basketball. The first school day without their classmate, 17-year-old Cameron Wheatley. The kids, they, they were really emotional about it. They were, some of them were devastated. Cameron was number one on the Bremen High School basketball team. Tuesday night during a game at Chicago High School for Agricultural Sciences, Cameron collapsed, had a seizure on the court, and was taken by ambulance to Advocate Christ Medical Center, where he died. Hugo Silva says he knew him well. As kids, every summer, we used to just go out, play basketball every day till the sun goes down. Every time we had a project in class, I was always his partner. Silva says Cameron was smart, kind, and always smiling. Yesterday, walking out, at the end of the day, I shook up with him, and I shook his hand, and I told him to, that I didn't know that was going to be my last time I ever seeing him, but I told him to stay safe. And I just wish I gave him a hug instead. Principal Dr. Dave Kabelkis says extra counselors were on hand Wednesday, writing in a statement, quote, we are extremely saddened by the loss of our student athlete. He's been a great role model in every sense, and he will be missed. Administrators now working on a plan to honor the young life cut short. You never know when someone's going to go. You never know when you have another day. People say, oh, good morning, or like, I'll see you tomorrow. But in reality, we don't, we don't know what God has planned for us. There are reports that he was injured on the court just moments before he collapsed, although autopsy results are still pending. Live tonight in Melothian, Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago.